a time to honor the dead. Today is China's traditional Qingming Festival, or Tu Fuping Day. And what better place to celebrate this festival than here in the lofty hills of Xiandu, where thousands have gathered to commemorate the Yellow Emperor. But just exactly who is the Yellow Emperor, and why was this site selected as the site for his commemoration? Let's go find out. Today's event is held to commemorate the Qingming Festival, which literally means the festival of clearness and brightness. It is also sometimes referred to as Tomb Sweeping Day, as it is a traditional holiday where people remember and pay respects to their ancestors by visiting their graves, polishing their tombs, and leaving offerings for their deceased loved ones to use in the afterlife. In addition to commemorating loved ones who have passed away, this festival is also a time to remember the cultural heroes of Chinese civilization. It is a commemoration the Chinese people have for their heritage and lineage, one that solidifies this ancient nation's collective cultural memory in a rapidly modernizing and globalizing world. Xindu, or City of the Gods, in Jinyun County of Zhejiang Province in southeastern China, holds a grand commemorative event of the mysterious Yellow Emperor twice a year. This event was added to the nation's list of intangible cultural heritage in 2011, and is officially approved by China's State Council. To know more, we interviewed Professor Zhao Yuezhi, who grew up in Jinyun. Professor, can you tell us a little bit more about the festival, the origins of the Yellow Emperor, and why was this beautiful site selected to be the Yellow Emperor's commemoration site? I see a lot of questions. Qimi means clear and bright. Qimi festival has many meanings in Chinese culture, combines nature and uh, actually cultural elements. Uh, the most important aspect of nature is that Qimi is one of the 24 uh, solaces. It's the season that for, in terms of agriculture, uh, for planting things. Uh, culturally, the most significant part of Qimi is this is the festival for people to commemorate the dead. Uh, what's significant for me in terms of Chinese culture is this Taoist element. That is, it, you celebrate uh, spring, uh, revival of everything, but at the same time you commemorate the, the dead. So there is a, a sense of the cycle of life. And uh, as for uh, who is the Yellow Emperor? Yellow Emperor is one of the prehistorical legendary ancestors. He was credited with many humanistic achievements, also credited with uh, unifying the, uh, a large part of the land. And the legend had it that uh, once he conquered the land uh, from the north, coming to the source, south, he was on his way back to the north. And because this site is so beautiful, he decided to stop here to to uh, seek uh, immortality and uh, through, you know, some Taoist practice. And it was one day when this practice was successful, a dragon came from the sky and he rode on the dragon and sent to the sky. And this, this rock is on this rock top that he was practicing his Taoist ritual. And it's from this rock that he rode the dragon to the sky. So that's why this is the place where people commemorate uh, the Yellow Emperor. Of course, in China, there are three sites officially that people commemorate the Yellow Emperor. One is the place of his birth, another is the place where his tomb is. So this is one of the three nationally sanctioned sites for commemorate uh, the Yellow Emperor. Thank you very much, OK. We left the ceremony feeling overwhelmed, not only by the deep respect people had for their ancestors and civilization, but also bewildered by the beautiful environment surrounding the memorial hall, full of lofty mountains and breathtaking forests. The region is a successful example of China's development efforts in the countryside, balancing economic and cultural growth with environmental conservation. Hi, I'm Gopa from Bangladesh. I have come here to see my professor as well as the Chimin Festival. I've never seen something so colorful and it's amazing. I don't know much about the religious significance, but it is great being here. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, China.
in the spirit of the Qingming Festival. We hope that you all can also take some time off today to honor your own ancestors. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our Facebook, Twitter and YouTube platforms. We'll see you all next time.